see you in London. Hey guys, good morning. So we're currently headed to London from Oxford. It's 7:45 a.m. and we are at the bus stop, uh, waiting for the bus uh, that will ferry us all the way to London. We are taking the Oxford tube, which is not the train. It's actually a bus service, or as they call it, a coach service over here. So uh, it's it's very convenient. I frankly like it because you don't have to stop at different stations and you know change trains and you know do all that hassle. You directly just sit here in Oxford and you reach Victoria in London. Extremely comfortable. It takes around uh, an hour and a half, two hours, depending on traffic, and it's scenic to you know travel there. Uh, I've been on it twice, thrice, and uh, this is Karan's first time. So let's see how does he like it. So super excited to visit London today, and uh, we'll keep you posted uh, with all our action uh, from the day. Fantastic morning so far. We uh, we got off at Marble Arch and then we were just roaming the streets of London and we passed Manchester Square. We passed this really beautiful church, St James Church, and then we are at a place where okay, let them guess. So okay. what's common between Robert Downey Jr. and Benedict Cumberbatch? Ah, uh, well, Esther, I know the answer, but. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. We are outside two two one Baker Street. One second. Yeah, we are right here at the Sherlock Holmes Museum. So this is the Sherlock Holmes Museum shop. Over here, you will get souvenirs and uh, a lot of merchandise that you can take back home with you. Beside it is the apartment recreated from the 1800s. So all the things that you would have seen in his shows and movies or read in the book will come to life over here. You will see the the famous or the rather infamous kitchen, his living room, a mannequin set up. So yeah, it's it's worth a visit. There is a charge to visit the museum. The link of which is below in the description box. Right now, uh, we are at uh, the beautiful Regent's Park. Uh, lovely atmosphere here. People, you know, chilling on the grass. Uh, kids running all around, uh, having their snack, uh, lunches, jogging. Uh, you know, uh, everybody is just into you know their own activities. You know, and it's just a wonderful place to be. The journey from Oxford to London generally takes about an hour and a half to two uh, at max. Uh, but with traffic, uh, you know, we took a little extra time. But that's fine. Uh, one thing to know about uh, the journey from Oxford in the Oxford tube actually is that if you are an adult uh, commuting from Oxford to London and back, so a return ticket would cost you around 18 pounds. Uh, if you are a student, uh, the same return ticket would cost you around 13 pounds. Um, actually, the journey is good, quite pretty smooth drive. Uh, uh, of course, Esther missed that <laughs> the scenic journey because uh, as soon as the bus started uh, she dozed off uh, i had to catch up on my sleep so that i'm ready for london Look, this park is massive there are multiple entry and exit points uh, we are currently at uh, the queen mary's garden so this is a beautiful place so if you all really want to you you have less ha time in hand and want to come to Regent's Park, then we would definitely recommend you to come here. It's beautiful. There are there are fountains, there are waterfalls, there are there are painters actually sitting and it's so pretty that paint there are actually painters sitting and you know doing their nature art <laughs> right here. Uh, the whole the entire park is around 395 acres 
there are many buses that come over here so you won't find it difficult to you know get yourself around over here we have a couple of things that are planned uh, for the day but after being uh, you know in the park for uh, whatever time we've been Maybe here for two hours. Uh, um, um, we don't know if we have the strength to go to the other places because uh, it, it, it's just so relaxing right we, we just feel like you know just just chilling in the park uh, the whole day but uh, let's see um, uh, no, no, we will we will head <laughs> from here. But uh, yeah, it's uh, so if if you plan to come to Regent's Park, uh, we suggest you keep at least five six hours in hand and definitely visit Queen Mary's Garden. <laughs> One of the oldest markets in London. It's uh, situated in central London and uh, there are thousands of stores here. You have leather, you have shoes, you have vintage products, you have posters, you have everything. It's like one place for everything. There are a lot of eateries over here as well. So, you know, from Colombian to Indian to British, of course, to Italian. If you are confused of what to eat come to Camden just try out whatever <laughs> just just walk around and see what you like another interesting fact is that uh, they also the eateries give you tasters so in case you're confused or you don't know how it's going to turn up so you can just have a taster and if you like it then you can go and go ahead and buy the dish so yeah there is a boat ride every 45 minutes there's a music boat so basically there's a live music performance that happens here so that's also one thing that you can do so if you're just bored at home or you just don't know what to do, just come over here. It's such a cosmopolitan, such a buzzing place. You can just like chill here, walk here, go into the stores, do some window shopping, grab a bite, chill near the water side. You know, you can do everything. Hansel and Gretel, look at this. Had a long and exciting day today, uh, right from exploring Regent's Park to 221 Baker Street and uh, Camden Market. Uh, after grabbing our last meal right now, uh, we're finally all tired and set to head home to Oxford. Uh, it's again going to take us an hour and a half or two to get home. Uh, so if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. And uh, until next time, this is Karan and Esther signing off. See ya. See you.